All right, so in this video, we'll be analyzing the February March 2024 Stats 1 paper so that we know what to expect in the May June Stats 1 paper. Subscribe and let's dive right in. If you haven't watched the predictions for the Pure 1 paper and the Pure 3 paper, make sure to watch those first before you watch this one. We're going to start by analyzing the mark distributions in the February March paper, compare these to previous years, and we're going to use the trends to help us predict the mark distributions for the May June papers. Make sure to watch till the end so that you know which topics to look out for in the May June series. So here's the mark distribution for the February March paper. On first sight, there's one major talking point. Discrete random variables outperform the normal distribution. Interesting, right? Though in all fairness, there's only a 0.1 mark difference in their averages over the past 4 years. So this isn't too surprising. Apart from that, we have a standard performance from permutations and combinations and slight underperformances from each of representation of data and probability. Now let's do a deep dive to see what really happened in the February-March paper. Our top performer was discrete random variables with 14 marks. This is a slight surprise as we expected the normal distribution to keep the throne. But we have to remember just how explosive this topic is. In February-March 2022, it recorded a career-high 16 marks. So this 14 marker is by no means an anomalous result. The questions in the February-March 2024 paper that fall under this topic are as follows. With 3 marks worth of binomial distribution, 5 marks worth of geometric distribution, and finally 6 marks worth of the probability distribution table. The marks for the probability distribution table and the geometric distribution were a bit higher than usual, so I suspect these will drop down slightly in the May June series, so this topic should average around 12 marks per paper. I must say though that I am a bit surprised by the normal distribution's performance. I expected it to do a bit better than it did. Don't get me wrong, it performed better than its 11.2 mark average and it actually was in check with its 11.7 and 12 mark averages that it recorded in 2022 and 2023 respectively. I think between discrete and normal distribution, I expected the normal distribution to do better. But I guess that's just a personal bias because in fact the normal distribution has recorded marks of 12, 11, 11, 11 in the previous 4 February papers before 2024 and these pretty much match its 2024 12 mark performance. Now going into May June, I expect it to be very competitive with discrete, so I'm actually going to predict the same number of marks as I predicted for discrete for the normal distribution. I expect it to average around 12 marks per paper. In third place, we had permutations and combinations. Nothing out of the ordinary, we had a 10 mark question consisting of a 4 mark combination and 2 arrangements with 6 marks in total. It was a pretty average showing from permutations and combinations and I expect more of the same in the May June series. So I predict this topic to be around 10 marks per paper. Representation of data hasn't been performing at its best in recent years and in the February March paper it recorded a total of 8 marks. It only had a histogram question. In the May June series I do expect it to do a bit better than that so it should be around the 9 mark region. And our final topic is probability. For the most part this topic has averaged around 8.5 marks in the past 4 years. So having recorded only 6 marks in the February March paper I do expect it to improve. So I predict it to be around 7-8 marks per paper. I didn't notice anything extraordinary in the February-March paper, but you know Cambridge always have a trick or two up their sleeves, so be ready for anything. This is my predicted mark distribution for the Stats 1 papers in the May June series. Use this information wisely. By the way, I'm currently working on full-scale Cambridge Standard guest papers for the May June series, so make sure you're subscribed and turn on your notification bell so that you know when these are out. That's all for today's video, thank you for watching. I wish you the best in preparation for your exams, bye bye.